every time I go on TikTok, I always end up buying something. So today I spent $500 on viral iPhone TikTok gadgets. So we're gonna see if all this stuff is really worth the hype. This first viral TikTok has 1.1 million views and it is a remote for your iPhone. Literally, you can play games on there as if it's an actual console and I really, really want it. It looks so cool, you know we had to buy it. I spent $25 on this remote for my iPhone. Oh my gosh, this thing is like a whole real size remote for all my gamers on there. So apparently all you have to do is just plug it in and get gaming. Man, this is freaking so cool. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Dude, I'm in Roblox right now. Freaking lit, dude. What am I doing? Best $25 I've ever spent. So here is the TikTok. It is like a little bare like, rectangular thing. At first it kind of looks weird. You're like, what the heck is this? But it has like charging ports on it and it's actually a battery pack. And it also has like a flashlight and it's supposed to like have a fan and everything. So it's supposed to be like super, super useful. But let's see if it's actually as good as it says. I'm so excited for this one. Super adorable. I actually want it to be good because I spent a lot of money on it. Wait a minute, did I buy the wrong one? Why is this so big? This is not how it's supposed to look. I may or may not have bought the wrong thing but it's supposed to do the same thing. I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you guys how much I spent on this thing. I actually spent $20 on it. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is the flashlight. It actually worked. Oh, I like this. I feel like this is nice to have. It looks like a little teddy bear, which is cute or whatever. And then you fold this down, okay. And it's a fan! Dang, this actually works really good. I mean, it kind of gives a like, barely any air, but I mean, it's cute. Was it worth the $20? We'll find out. Whoa. So the fan worked, the flashlight worked. Let's see if it'll charge my phone. It's not charging. It's literally not charging. Come on, you have one job. Is it not working right now? I knew TikTok was lying to me. I have to read my little instruction manual real quick. It's all in German. So guys, it's not charging my phone. And honestly, this thing is really, really cute, but it does not work well at all. And I regret spending $20 on this. That was a huge bust. This next TikTok has 400,000 views and 25,000 likes. And it is a literal remote for your phone. At this point, it's kind of ridiculous, but it's a remote for my phone. So I wanted it. So here it is. It is like a Bluetooth mini remote. And you're supposed to use it to roll on social media. And this is what it looks like. Comes in this little box to charge it. And this right here is the little mini remote. You're supposed to like be able to put it on your finger and scroll with it. This is where you charge it. Now let's see if this thing is actually worth it. What I saw the lady doing with it is she's actually scrolling through TikToks with it. So you press the button and then you just scroll with it. Honestly, this thing is kind of cool and it actually works. But it's the stupidest thing I've ever bought. Why would you need this? It's so easy to just wipe on your finger. Like why do you need a remote? How lazy are we getting here? Oh shoot, are we still filming? Was there anything else you can use this for? You can scroll on Instagram with it as well, which I guess is kind of cool. When are you ever gonna be away from your phone but also using social media? You can, you know what, I take that back. Whenever you're on the toilet and you're watching TikTok and then you know you have to wipe or whatever, you can put it on the floor and then like you can use this. <laughs> so you never have to stop watching TikTok. You can use your little remote. What has society come to? So I want to see if I can at least use it to take pictures. You cannot use it to take pictures. Apparently, it's only to like act as your finger. So it can literally go up or down. That's it. You heard it here, folks. This is literally only good for scrolling on TikTok while you're pooping. I give this one a huge bust. This next one is covers for your lenses on your iPhone. I didn't really understand it at first, but I mean, it looked really, really pretty, as you can see. So I bought them. I spent $11 on these camera lenses, so they weren't exactly cheap. I got the pink sparkly one because my phone is pink and I like it sparkly. Wipe the camera down and now we stick them on <gasps> why do i really really love this i was so hesitant about these at first ah! that is so adorable a hundred percent worth the eleven dollars i'm actually obsessed with these and they're definitely worth the hype this one is a giant thumbs up this tiktok went viral with 35 million views and 3 million likes it's a tiny pink iphone so you know we had to buy it and here it is. I spent $58 on this little tiny iPhone. Comment down below, what is your favorite thing that I've unboxed so far? And there it is. Oh my gosh, this thing is smaller than my finger. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. It is a little tiny baby iPhone. Whoa, this thing is so cute. I just love the color of it. It's so pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if it turns on. Ah, it worked. I can't believe something this tiny can actually work, but look how pretty. Honestly, I'll take this pink iPhone over this pink iPhone any day. This thing actually has touch screen capability. It has like apps and everything. Oh, this thing is actually like a fully functional phone. Of course, it's not an iPhone, but it does look like one. So let's take some pictures. Oh, it's super fast, actually. Dang, I look good. I love it. This tiny phone is so cool. It is a tiny version of my Instagram. 
If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me. But look at this. It is, this is the smallest phone I think I've ever had. We can like my Instagram pictures in a little phone. Literally insane. I have to say, I'm kind of really liking this mini phone. Yeah, no, I'll be there. I'll be there later today. Okay, yeah, I gotta go on filming. Goodbye. Must have app. Time to watch some Sarah Grace on a mini phone. We're watching the world's biggest iPhone on the world's smallest iPhone. This was actually their original giant moment of the truth. Let's see if this thing- I have to say, the quality overall of this phone is kind of funny because it's so tiny. But like, what else could you ask for from a tiny iPhone? This tiny iPhone actually get a pass and a big thumbs up from me. It was $50, which is way cheaper. So I mean, I guess, I don't know when you'd ever actually use it. But if you wanted to, you could. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this little tiny iPhone. This next TikTok is for your Apple Watch and it's supposed to be a really unique charging stand for it. It's supposed to be like one of the old iMacs and you put your Apple Watch on there to make it look really cool. I bought it, so let's try it out. This thing was $13, but I'm hoping it'll look really cute. Ooh, so it's supposed to be like one of the old Macs. If you guys remember those, that's what it's supposed to look like. And you're supposed to be able to charge your Apple Watch with it. So when you put your Apple Watch to charge, it'll look like a little mini computer. I don't know, Loki, this is kind of anticlimactic and not what I was expecting. This did not deserve to go TikTok viral. I mean, the idea was there, it's just not it. This is a bust. This TikTok went viral with 2.6 million views and it is viral for a color changing temperature iPhone case, which is so cool and I'm excited to test it out. Let's see if it's really worth the 2.3 million views it got. Here we go. It's red, ladies and gentlemen. This iPhone case was $10, so it wasn't really too bad. All right, let's test it out. Ready, everybody? Drum roll, please. Wow, that is so cool. So it's temperature changing. It's red when it's cool and then yellow when it's hot. Dang, that's so cool. Ah. We're putting it in full hot. Oh my God, it's all hot now. Dang, this thing is so awesome. I just wanna keep playing with it. This thing actually works so well and it's very, very cool. So I give it a pass and it's definitely worth the hype. This next TikTok has 1.3 million views. It is an iPhone case that is super, super secretive because it covers everything. Oh, so you know I had to try it. This thing was not cheap. I spent $40 on it. Oh, why is it so musty dusty? Look, it literally came with like grass on it. This iPhone case went viral because of how secretive it is and honestly kind of ridiculous. Literally look, covers your cameras, which I mean, I guess makes sense, but it also comes with this tiny little piece. Not only does it cover the front camera, but it also covers the selfie camera as well. I think that's why it went viral on TikTok because whoever has this, really trying not to get caught. They must be working for like the FBI or something. This iPhone case is kind of cool, but at the same time kind of stupid and it was 40 bucks. There's really no need for all of this. This one was honestly kind of a bust. This next TikTok suckered me so bad. I absolutely need to have it. It's the cutest thing. It is a little spaceship for the cats and their portable charger. We have to try it. Space cat, look how cute. Oh my gosh, I spent $35 on these little cats. Oh my gosh, look how cute. So it's like a little spaceship for your space cat. And this is what it looks like when it's on your desk or whatever. You take it out and they're portable chargers. Oh, there we go. And it worked just like that. And now we're charging. So whenever you're done, you come and put it back in the little space vase. And you have a two packets in there so you can charge. This one is adorable. It was $35, but I think it is so cute. And this TikTok has every right to go viral. This next TikTok has 400,000 views. So ridiculous. It is an umbrella for your iPhone. It has 400,000 views. And I honestly can't believe it, but I had to buy it. I feel like I get suckered so easily. Oh my gosh, this is actually such a cute color. Ah! It's a mini umbrella. Oh my God. I can't tell if I love it or if I hate it. Hello. So you stick this onto your phone. Then you put a little mini umbrella on it. Is it supposed to be like that? Like what kind of shade is that providing? This little mini umbrella phone was $15. Okay, maybe I put it on. So this is kind of how it's supposed to work. And the thing you're supposed to use it for, you know, whenever you're in the sun and you can't see your phone because they're too bright outside. But now I can't see my phone because there's a giant umbrella on front of it. When I'm walking outside in the summer, my phone does tend to overheat and turn off. Maybe this is actually a genius idea and we just don't really let me know in the comments down below, would you guys buy this mini umbrella? Because I'm so torn with it. Honestly, I'm gonna give this one a buck. It's cute or whatever, but I just spent $15 on a mini umbrella for my phone. The next absolute must have is from Anchor. Shout out to Anchor for sponsoring this portion of the video. All the goodies, all the goodies in the box. Anchor is known for their super fast charging blocks. And the coolest thing is that it can detect what you're charging so it knows what power to charge it at. They have a ton of different ports for USB-C, USB, so you can literally get all your charging done with one block. Gan Prime Anchor 737 charger is a little bit smaller with three ports but can still charge three devices at the same time. They're ultra compact and super portable. So it's time to say goodbye to all these chargers and literally 
immediately traded in for one super fast one. Anchor was able to reduce the size of the charger by 53%, while also lowering temperatures by 18 degrees Celsius. Active Shield 2.0 also monitors the temperature and will adjust while you're charging to make sure that you're safe. These chargers are making the world a greener place because instead of having all of these chargers, Wasting energy, you only need one. Not only do all my devices get charged, but they also get charged quickly and efficiently. So what are you waiting for? Go get yourself one, click the link in the description to buy one of your own, and I guarantee you, you will use it all of the time. Thank you, Anchor, for keeping all my electronics charged, and thank you for sponsoring this portion of the video. The next viral TikTok is this TikTok that has cleaning devices on it. I know it sounds super boring, but if your phone is crusty dusty like mine, this thing is gonna be so handy. Here it is. You're probably wondering like what the heck is that? Honestly, I'm kind of the same way right now. It has the little devices to clean all sides of your phone. So you're supposed to like be able to like clean your phone with this. Oh, I don't want to break anything. If you're one of those people that your phone stops charging for some reason, well, it's because you got musty dusty stuff in your phone, all right? So get this and clean your phone with it. Ooh, like all this stuff's coming out. Now that I have this, could I just got like a little brush or something, like a Q-tip or something. What is this for? Oh my God, I'm embarrassed to tell you how much I spent on this thing. I spent $25 on this. TikTok really made me buy it. So you're actually supposed to use these little charging ports to clean your charger. Bro, I got scammed hard. As you can see, there's like a little cleaning bristle so you can stick your charger in there and it cleans off all the junkers. As always, TikTok made me buy something I really didn't need that is totally useless. I give this a bump. This next gadget is supposed to go on the side of your computer and stick onto it so that way you can have your phone like right on the edge of your computer. And honestly, this is like the first thing that I actually really, really wanted from this video. So let's test out and see if it actually works. Just trust the process. Trust the process. Okay, so you're supposed to peel this thing off and stick it to the side of your computer. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Oops, did I put it too low? Oh, I put it too low. Oh, that's too high. Now, you add this little circular ring to your phone. Now, time for the moment of truth. Okay, I love it. Best thing I've unboxed so far. This isn't the most viral, but it's hands down the most useful. I don't know about you guys, but I will 100% be using this all the time. Look, <laughs> this thing is so cool. I feel like you can be like getting your work done and then you can be like la 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 la. You know what I mean? So you can be like working, working, break, working, working, break, working, working, and then a break. I spent $15 on this one and it was $15 well spent. This one has to have a huge pass for me. Thumbs up. This next TikTok went viral for this keyboard that you can put your phone on. I didn't think it was that cool, but apparently people want to use it to text when they're in a really bad fight. So let's try it out. This keyboard was $20. It's pink. So this is what it looks like, and then you pull out this, flip this up, and you have a spot for your phone. So we got it connected and it actually worked. I can't really see a reason to have this, I guess, but you know what, sometimes you be getting into those fights and I'm be like, you dumb, stupid, I can't believe you would do that. I would probably use this, because sometimes when you're texting, it just takes too long, and you need to be faster with the keyboard. You could also connect your iPad, which I guess is good for like homework assignments, but I would just use it to fight with my boyfriend. It worked, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I give it a pass, it works. This next TikTok has 19 million views. It is a cleaner for your AirPods. It sounds so stupid, but I, we all know our AirPods are musty dusty. And this is supposed to be like a little kit to clean it. It's called the, the Pod Pick. 19 million views on TikTok. I spent $9 on this little tiny pick pocket, and this is what it looks like. It is a little furry brush. I'm embarrassed. I don't want to show them my AirPod. Mr. President, say hello to Insectosaurus. <laughs> So they're musty dusty, along with everybody else's in the world, okay? So don't hate on me. Very musty dusty. I'm not gonna lie, everyone has earwax. It's a normal thing. So this right here is supposed to go inside that little area and clean out all the musty dustiness. So let's get cleaning. But that's not all it has, ladies and gentlemen. Is that all it has? A little nice. This is supposed to clean out, I don't have, luckily I don't have that much ear, ew. Shut up. Luckily, I don't have that much earwax. Giving them a nice little bath. And this is supposed to scoop out all your musty, dusty earwax. So this went super viral on TikTok, but honestly, kind of a letdown. But low key, honestly, I could get a Q-tip for this. Like, I don't need to buy a whole pick for it. I could just get a Q-tip that I can throw away after, so I don't have to use the same musty, dusty. Oh, that's kind of gross. Oh. So this is kind of cool and it does help, but there was nothing I could do with this that I couldn't do with a Q-tip. Honestly, my AirPods still look low key a little musty, dusty. I'm gonna have to give this one a bust. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.